right, so here we are again from the Jazz Keller in Frankfurt. Today we wanted to talk about a little bit about how we met. Yeah, right. Which is quite some years ago, right? Quite some years ago. Yes. I'd say it's got to be at least 12, 13 years ago. 12, 13? No, oh, you make me younger than I am. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> was in the beginning of the 90s. Yeah, I was working a lot in München with David Gazaroff and Chris Lakota. Yeah. We had a little time. trio. Because in those years between 1992 90 to 95 were the years when I was working at the Nacht yeah. Café. I think David Gazaroff told me about it, the Nacht Café. And he said I should go down there and check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I David. He's, you recorded with David, too. I right? recorded two he CDs some, with David, yeah. 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 Yeah, he's wonderful. Yeah. He's a very, very wonderful yeah. person. I came in there, and there you were sitting on that stool with your legs crossed, singing your heart out. I said, well, I never, <laughs> I never saw a lady do that before. <laughs> Beautiful, sitting on a stool with her legs crossed, singing her heart out. You see, and I thought, and our drummer, um, I think I was playing that night with, um, the, the whole week actually, it was a week gig, right? It was a weekly gig, you played the whole week mm -hmm. from, every night from, we used to play from 11 to 4. Wow. And then it later on it changed from 12 to, no, first it was from 12 to 5 and then it changed from 11 to 4 all the way around, I don't remember. But anyway, once you did that gig in wintertime, which always happened to me, wintertime when I did it, you never saw the sunlight. Yeah, never. right. And after three days or something, it started to be really yeah, strange. Right. Yeah. I didn't like that too much. But but it was the only really whole week gig. You, know? yeah, you could play right. a whole week there and set up a band and yeah, right. get the routine to play. So we were playing with um, Max Geller, the saxophonist mm -hmm. in Munich. And Vito Leschuk was in the band, the drummer. Mm. And he used to have lessons with you. I remember that too, mm. he told me. You came in and Vito was getting really nervous. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Peter Mikulic was playing the piano, mm. I remember that. He, he, we used to study, all of us used to study together in Graz. Mm. And the two of them uh, left to New York. They mm. stayed there. And, and that night then, Vito was getting nervous, and then I was getting nervous too, of course. <laughs> but oh my God, you know. But I just pretended nothing happened. <laughs> you, you were so calm and collected, I didn't know nothing was happening. I know, I, but that's what people keep telling me from the very beginning. I always look so calm, but I, now I am, I have to say. Now I'm not really getting nervous anymore the last mm. you know, years. Thank God. But when I was really young, starting out, I, I could get pretty nervous, mm. but it would never show. And then I remember we were sitting then on your table mm -hmm. in the break. Yeah. It was very exciting for us back then, I remember. And then the next thing I remember was when I moved to Frankfurt in, I moved here in 2005. And within the last few years then, I did once in a while, I did have a break, I did make a musical break for some years. Mm -hmm. But once in a while I would play here in the jazz keller. And you showed up two or three times to my concerts, I remember that. But yeah. there was never a chance to talk to you, really, yeah, because right. it was always... And then we met at the concert of where Matthias was playing, yeah, right? right? Matthias Mailing. Right. Yeah. That's where we happened to be in the audience for yeah, the first right, time. Yeah, right, yeah. Here in Frankfurt. So that was the idea when the, when this whole thing came up. That's it right. That's nice. Thank God I have a good experience too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I met you there. That's the other strong one. So that was great. That was wonderful. Yeah, it was great for me. Yeah. And then I was really happy to meet you again here in Frankfurt and mm -hmm. to finally have a chance to talk to you. Yeah, right. You were sitting right there on the corner and That's right. Roberto was sitting on the corner and I was sitting in the middle of both of you. That's right. Thank you well, for thank you. being here now. Thank so you, <laughs> Let's pleasure. have a cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh,
tell me a little bit about your experience with Nietzsche and